What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Ogre Battle 64. So, since last time, I've gotten all of the, uh... Six Needles of Light that I... That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for... List item. Uh, I got all six of the Needles of Light that I was looking for. So, I've got one equipped on my Dragon Master. The other five are in reserve for my future Angel Knights. So that's all taken care of. I've also spent, uh, just uh, t taking care of that process, ended up passing me by like a year and a half. So I figured I would just go and do a uh, full three years. So Magnus is now 75 years old. As we can see by looking at the, which one do hickey? 75. Uh, I also mentioned that uh, previously that Magnus was, was getting really old so like people are starting to complain about his birthdays and you don't really get to see uh, that as, as much in the uh, like the, the even or uh, the every 10th birthday so I figured I would just show off what uh, what people are kind of saying at his birthday parties in like this age range just to kind of give you an idea of what exactly I mean even Aisha is kinda of whatever I forget what word I was gonna use now at least Saradin is still respectful Not let time slip by your fingers. And another dowsing rod. That makes five dowsing rods in a row. You can get other items in this age range, but I guess I just haven't happened to. Now what I'm probably going to do with birthdays from here on out is I'm, I think I'm probably going to go with uh, three years at a time. Uh, three years every scene. And I think that would be... That that should be enough that it, I get to 99 years old uh, at a good at good point in time. It's like before the end of the game, so we actually have the time to make use of the items that we get from uh, those birthdays. But it's not so early that the items we get would be so like ridiculously good, because even right now, like we're pretty far into the game, and the items that we would get for uh, the last bar birthdays are even at this point they'd be like ridiculously good so yeah but anyways uh let us continue on to the guiles hill ghouls hill uh where we fight the brigade of raiding cross apparently in scene 20. it's a very odd word it's g u l s or g u l e s the Gully's Hill, or the Ghoul's Hill, or Gull's Hill, or Guile's Hill. I'm probably just going to call it Gill's Hill. Just because it kind of flews off the tongue. We kind of already knew that. But I guess now they're announcing it to the people. Somehow I don't see that happening. But I mean, if Lotus has the power to annex Platinus, then like, why do they have to justify anything to them? Like, they they can just do whatever they want anyways, right? Oh. So I guess, uh... No more, like... Would you call it peacemongering? I mean, I know the opposite is, like, warmongering, but... Frederick is, like, obsessed with peace. But, yeah, whatever. But anyways, while we're contemplating that... Yeah, we got the battle here. That's a, that's a massive map. 
I don't actually remember this battle very well. Gunther Hall Station. Um, okay. Alba, Capitrum, and Latium, huh? I thought Capitrum was the other way. Or no, no, that, that's right. Capitrum is to the north and Latium is to the east. It does seem like a, I don't know, big maps kind of scare me. It's just really big and open and there's multiple routes of attack to, from everywhere. I don't know. Nar narrower maps have more room to, to the control points and stuff. This place just feels like it's way too open. Then there's two, two neutral strongholds to protect. I feel like those are going to be a pain in the butt. And anyway, right? We should get everyone out on the field. This is in fact a new map, of course, so I should figure out where exactly the uh, the shop on this map is. I did spend uh, a lot of money on those needles of light, but I I do have about five thousand goth left over. Oh, it's a, one of the neutral places, so I'm not gonna. Well, I mean, technically, I could take it and go shopping, but ideally, I'm not going to be doing anything with that until after the mission, I guess. This is the other one, right? So what I think I'm gonna do is send my Freya out over here. And let's also send out someone else. I don't know. I should probably take a look at what the places are like. That's lawful. That's neutral. That's slightly lawful. That is slightly lawful. That is slightly chaotic. That is chaotic. And that's the final place, so it doesn't even matter. Okay, so that's pretty good on the whole. So I think I will send Orwell out over this way as well to kind of back up my Freya. And I want to head straight to this stronghold so I can take it and discourage anyone from coming down this way towards the neutral stronghold. So I'm just going to march Magnus right over there. And send my lean over there too. Let's send Seraphina over to like here, just in case there's anyone trying to come in from over this way. And while we're at it, let's send Fidatch. I don't believe I've done anything with Sarah, didn't have I? Send him up here. I believe that leads Tyler to guard the base. Oh, Tyler and Katrina. Both of whom need a little bit of work. Uh, well, I'll worry about that after the fact. That's a lot of people marching out all at once. You know what, uh, I'm actually just going to send Katrina up here with them. Night Templar! A couple of them. Hmm. I'm actually going to have her just kind of hang around here a little bit. I feel like those Knight Templar might end up getting to the neutral stronghold too soon. 
No, they're gonna be fine. Send you over here. Why you no cut through the forest? Damn it, Freya's. I guess it's a marsh, not a forest. Do what I tell you. Let's -a go. So, five Knight Templars. Not the best battle, or, uh, or unit, rather, ever. I believe that's an evil blade that he's wearing. It's not a bad sword, but, uh... All the rest are wielding boulder swords, which are pretty out of date by this point. Actually, there's, uh... There's a couple of good pieces of equipment that I can find in this map. Uh... The, the Evil Blade kind of reminded me of that, so that's something to keep in mind, although I'm thinking I'm probably not going to be able to end up, I'm not going to end up finding any of them today. Now, typically I probably would have preferred to use someone other than Magnus for this group, especially because there's three guys coming in all at once, but as as always, you know, I'm more concerned with making sure that they don't get to that neutral stronghold than I am uh, concerned about who is getting the, the battle time. Because when it comes down to it, I can use training if I need to. And in a couple places, it's kind of getting to that place, but uh, we'll see what we can do about that once things settle down a little bit. And some uh, pretty pathetic healing. 116 damage. Good lord, Ankaseth is retardedly strong. And now he leveled up, so he's uh, even stronger. And the old guy's coming from that direction. Oh, these, this guy happens to have a scene. Oh, really? Hmm. Cataphracts and two priests. That seems like a fairly annoying combination. Although, they, there's not a whole lot they can do if you, uh... You kill your target before they even have a chance to do anything. That's all you can heal? 46? That seems kind of pathetic. Maybe that's kind of par for the course for the bad guys, but like... Aisha's healing like 80 at this point. I don't know about Katrina. I haven't used her for a little while. That Glamdring looks kind of ridiculous. I believe that's all they're healing. I think they've used it all up now. Because, of course, Paladins and Deanna's get three attacks, whereas Priests only get two heals. And they got their leader killed, so they've got a, that advantage. Aha, there we get a stone sword. That's one of the items I was looking for. Unfortunately, I believe it's another one of those swords that's uh, kind of mediocre. Let's see, it's got seven, seven strength. That's lower than blessed swords. I mean, I guess it's got five uh, vitality on it, but like, yeah. I guess that's one thing that's kind of annoying about this game. It's like, Blessed Swords are just so good for so long, like... I got my first Blessed Sword at, like, literally the beginning of the game. Uh, I definitely want you to come out... continue going out this way. Where's Orwell at? 
Uh, right, he's going around the marsh. Uh, need someone to take care of him. Katrina, Serafina, one of you do it. I got an altar of resurrection. Those are always handy to have around. Preparing for combat. Oh, they've got a uh, what's it called? Bahamut. The the master version of holy dragons. Uh, sixty-ish damage. That's not, not not a bad healing. That's definitely better than the enemies. Although these guys probably outlevel me. I kind of feel like Katrina's lagging behind a little bit. The, the damage I'd put on this unit is leaves a little bit to be desired. Although critical hits do tend to help that a little bit. Curses. I was trying to use a Pedro, but I just barely ran out of time. So we didn't kill everything, but they're all very low. Which means this is the point where they use a heal pack or something. Oh, they don't actually have any items. And all three Hawkmen use Angel Fruits in unison. I don't think anything comes in from this direction, in the southeast there, towards the neutral stronghold, but it's definitely something I want to be careful about. We're getting to the point in the game where uh, our Chaos Rim is going to start mattering a whole lot more in the near future. Maybe not a whole lot more, but the the most important instances of ha of needing a high Chaos Frame are coming up. So we're kind of running out of time where uh, if if you screw it up, then we're, you don't really have as much time as you would like to fix it. Because, I mean, obviously, you know, in the first, you know, 10 or 12 scenes, if you screw up your Chaos Frame, there's not a whole lot there to really matter for uh, if you screwed it up. like, and, and the cases where it does matter, like in recruiting Lytle and stuff like that, it's pretty easy. Like the, the Chaos Frame requirements at that point are fairly lenient. Uh, I'm actually going to have Saradin go after this guy. Um, okay. Well, I certainly wasn't expecting that. You don't see uh, neutral encounters all that often in uh, during battles. Can I even kill this guy? Like, usually it's pretty easy to kill neutral encounters because you have your entire unit against one target, but like... Okay, well, I guess Saradin's damage is, as always, you know, the linchpin of the unit. They did, what, 70 with uh, those three guys all together, and Saradin did 45. So that's more than half. That and he does AoE damage. And for that, we get a Heal Seed. But anyways, uh, I'm going to leave it here for today on Let's Play Ogre Battle 64. Catch you later.